This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at third-party plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, I want to illustrate one of the plugins that we talked about. I need to mention SliceX and TrackX. If you haven't had a chance to check these two out, these are amazing. Published by Cormelt at Cormelt.com. It's $149 for the two of them. We do shape tracking of selected regions within a frame and motion tracking. SliceX allows me to select a shape and track how that shape moves throughout the frame. TrackX allows me to take that tracking data that SliceX generates and then track text on top of it or anything else. This just works magically and you need to go to Cormelt's website to learn more. But I want to show you a couple of applications just of SliceX that involve tracking that don't involve tracking text. Let me illustrate. Here, for instance, I've got our intrepid snowboarder, courtesy of Standard Films. A dramatic shot. But let's say this is a dream sequence. And I want to make this look much more ephemeral. How do I do it? Well, let's go to C2. We're in the effects browser, C2, slice X. I want to do a blur shape mask. So I'm going to, whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm going to do a depth of field shape mask is what I'm going to do. Grab this, drag it on. Let's hide this. Click here. I'm going to draw a shape right about there. Position this. Make it a circle. I'm going to click here to track forward. It's now going to generate the tracking data. What it's doing is I didn't have to set tracking dots. It's looking at the surface of his face and watching how his face moves and changes in the frame over the course of the clip. And because it's what's called a planar tracker, we can see that this plane, this surface that's tracking against his face, changes as he moves and changes his position inside the frame. And what I'm doing is I'm creating this really immense depth of field, almost, you know, like a, um, uh, well, here, watch this. Let me just play this back. I'm going to pull the blur down just a little bit, and I'll play it. Look at how everything is all soft and How can you not look anywhere except his face? You can't. Your eye is, is forced to be drawn there. And we could make this blur really big or smaller. Now, normally you would use this to hide the identity of some uh, notorious person or allegedly notorious person. We can soften that shape. And now we've got a dream sequence here. And we can adjust the softness so it's a little less dreamy. Isn't that cool? Well, let's try something different. The last time that I talked about plugins, I talked about Match Key from Boris FX. What Match Key allows us to do is to remove something. I use the example of an automobile to remove something from a frame that you don't want there. The way that Match Key works is it removes elements from the frame by a clean frame earlier or later. So you can compare the earlier frame where the object does not exist with the frame now, and it removes the shot. Well, what happens if, for instance, here in this shot from BVE, I hate that balloon? I really, really, really don't want that balloon. It's a, a balloon that's making my life difficult. But in the entire shot, I don't have a single frame where that balloon doesn't exist. It'd be really nice if I could remove the balloon, but I don't have a clean plate. So there's a neat feature inside SliceX called Object Remover. Let me show you how this works. What Object Remover allows me to do is to remove an object by replacing it with a different part of the frame. Let me illustrate, just make that a little bit bigger. 
There we go. What I'm going to do is I've defined the balloon. That's the part that I want to remove. I'm going to track this. This effect works best when the camera does not move. If you have a panning effect, it can become really hard. It's not impossible, but it's really hard to find another part in the same frame that looks similar enough that it'll fool the eye into uh, thinking that the frame hasn't changed. Now, the key to this working is your eye does not notice when something is not there. Your eye notices things that are there, but doesn't notice things that aren't there. So I'm now going to replace the balloon. And to do that, I'm going to take the X offset, which changes my replace shape. The green circle is the part I'm using to replace this shape with. I'm going to just go right over there and replace the balloon with this part of the frame. And I'm going to adjust it so the lighting lines up a little bit better, right about there. So I've got the light below and the light above is the same. And now when I play it, now you know that something's been replaced because the balloon isn't there. But your eye doesn't. Your eye is looking at these two guys walking here. The lighting in the background looks believable enough. Now we could slide this around just a little bit to get the lighting to be even more accurate. Got to be careful not to pick up the balloon. But basically... That balloon is gone, and you are never going to know that it's been replaced over there. I can control horizontal and vertical. I could drop the vertical down just a hair. Uh, wait a second. Right about there. Look at that. You would never, ever suspect there's a problem because the back wall looks normal. Maybe there are two doors back there. The 18 is not cut off. The line at the top of the flats remains the same. The lighting in the ceiling is close enough to the same. You'll never notice the difference. Your eye doesn't see what's missing except the balloon is gone. The program is called SliceX bundled with TrackX from CoreMelt. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at third-party plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 146. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,200 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. And thanks.